Hello, hello, beloveds, and happy, happy August. I have something very special for you today. I wanted to share something I have not done in a very long time. See, when I started my YouTube channel here, I started out doing tarot scopes every single week. And that's actually how I got discovered and went from waitress to TV star. But I digress. I'm so grateful to share something very new with you. And if you like it, please make sure you comment below and share and like, and I'll do it again next month. But for right now, I'm just trying it out. So welcome to August Tanya Scopes. What are Tanya Scopes? This is intuitive insight that I share with you in each zodiac sign about your sun and your moon. So let's get into it. Let's kick off with, of course, the energy of now, the lion, the lioness. And because I am a Cancer Leo cusp, I am definitely channeling my inner lioness. And so the Leo lion energy, this is time to shine, shine, shine. That's what the sun is saying. And the moon is saying to get out of your way. Let those emotional depths guide you, not stop you. Right? And so now let's get into that Virgo energy. That energy will be coming up on the 22nd. And this is really about healing is our gift. Virgo, this is the time that you really step into that healing guidance power. And then your moon size says, forgive in faith. Harmony, this is a time for a new chapter for you. Libra, it's time for you to recharge, reset, and reflect. Your moon time is all about reflection for August. So set a, a, set a course for where you want to go and you'll be there by your birthday if you stick to the plan that you have set. Remember, you are the master of your destiny. Scorpio, it is time to get focused. Have you been feeling a little fuzzy this summer? Your sun is saying time to focus. And your moon is saying time to stay committed. Have you been having some commitment issues? Scorpio, this is your time. Sagittarius, now more than ever, trust yourself. As one of the most esoteric and spiritual signs, Sagittarius, it is so important that you learn to trust yourself. And the moon is saying, discover something new. So there might be something that you bring up and out of yourself during this moon. Capricorn, say it, speak it, write it, time to get it out, express yourself. And the moon is saying, listen as well. Listen, listen, listen. So we've got to speak it and then we've got to say it, right? Or then we've got to listen. And then Aquarius, Aquarius, this is your time to trust the process. You don't have to try to figure anything out. In fact, pave the way is what the moon says. And so this is a powerful time for Aquarius, the innovator, to pave the way. Aries, the sun saying this is your time for thinking, building. The moon says you're becoming more sensitive and emotional. Pay attention because it's there for a reason. Taurus, that lux life is again something that you love so much. But remember, it's important that you stay grounded in that. So make sure you do some grounding exercises and allow yourself to step into that time with the moon where you can chill and charm those around you. Gemini, so important for you to get back into school, learn something new. The moon is saying this is a time for healing for you. Use it wisely. We won't be given this abundant eight energy again anytime soon. And my other sign, Cancer. This is a big time, a new chapter for you, a new beginning. And those psychic senses are kicking off very, very strong. And so make sure that you pay attention to everything that I said for your sun and moon. I gave you clues and tips. If this is something that you'd like to hear more of, the Tanya Scopes, please make sure you comment below. Let us know if this is something that you like, something you'd like to see more of, and also please share it. And also, have you taken the intuitive quiz? What's your intuitive power? If you haven't, the link is in bio. And I can't wait to see you next time, beloved. And until then, Asha.